Hello everyone, FunshineX here. I am excited to bring you a new tutorial on a mod Dan200 has just released called Computercraft EDU. Computercraft EDU is created by Dan200, as I just mentioned, along with Teacher Gaming, which is the company that makes Minecraft EDU, which is another version of Minecraft used for educational purposes. We are in version Minecraft version 1.7.10. And this is version 174, pre-release 36 of Computercraft EDU. This is a beta, so things may change, there may be bugs. What is Computercraft EDU? Basically, it is a slimmed down version of Computercraft uh, that uses turtles to teach programming themes in an easy method, a visual method, uh, and um, allows um, you know people wanting to learn more about Lua or programming to get into it really easily. Uh, it adds these special turtles that you can control at three levels. The first being with remote control uh, to perform various simple tasks that a turtle can do, such as move forward, move backward, dig, drop, pick up an item, place an item, that kind of thing. You can go a little bit deeper and go into a visual programming editor where you're dragging components onto a canvas that will control the turtle's movement, and other operations that a turtle can perform. And you can always go down to the deepest level and write your own Lua code just like you would in Computercraft. Also, when you're at the visual editor level, you can always swap to the programming tab and see all of the code that it has created for you, modify it and make changes, or learn from it. It's a great way to learn Lua and Computercraft uh, full version. What it cannot do the turtles in Computercraft EDU have no console or GUI, so you can't rate, make them output messages or draw, um, you know, like menus and that kind of things, or interact with the mouse uh, in, a, in a, any way. So really, they're just a Minecraft block that can move around and perform actions. Um, there's also no uh, a different way of inter, uh, interacting with files, so you can't like save a file or you know copy it, delete things on the on the file system. There's no real way to do that. Um, Computercraft does allow you, or EDU does allow you to put your programs onto a disk and share them with other friends on the server. All right, so let's get out of Minecraft really quick and just show you how to install. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get your favorite Minecraft launcher. You can use the vanilla launcher from Mojang, you could use Feed the Beast, you could use ATL. I'm using Curse. The Curse launcher, you go ahead and just um, say make a custom profile, and you're going to get, pick which version of Forge. Forge must be installed before you can install Computercraft EDU, just like other Forge mods. Pick the version of Forge at this time, 1469, it's the latest version for 1710, and give it a profile name. So I'm just going to call this CC EDU, and hit OK. It's going to download some stuff and create your package, and it's going to be your profile, and it's going to be all ready for you to play. And Computercraft is not available on the Curse Launcher as at this time. It may later. Uh, I don't know. But you can simply click the dot dot dot, hit open folder, and it's going to bring you into your editor here. Um, and then you would just go into mods and drop the jar file in there. Let me grab it from the other mo uh, mod here. So I'll take Computercraft plus Computercraft EDU. Basically you get both the full version and the EDU version. And I'm going to drop that into the one we just created, mod pack. That is all there is to it, guys. So you just need a launcher, Forge 1710, and the Computercraft jar file. Piece of cake, right? Okay, so now we're ready to play. Let me go back into the other uh, instance that I already prepared. I'll go ahead and delete this one. Uh, yes, just make sure that's the right one. And we'll hit play. All right, so we have Computercraft EDU installed. And we have it in place uh, with Forge, and we've created a new world. How do we actually create these turtles? Well, you can go into creative mode and just grab yourself one. That's probably the easiest way, right? Because <laughs> obviously this is for learning, and so there's no, no problems in going to learning. You can either type turtle here, or you can go to this Computercraft EDU tab and click there. And you'll see the we have a beginner's turtle, which is the basic turtle. And the mining turtle, which is the same as a basic turtle with a mining pick attached. And you have the turtle remote control. You also have the tab for all the full version of Computercraft with all its turtles and com uh, PDAs and remotes and, and all that kind of stuff, disk drives, printers, everything you've got there. Um, okay, so if you're not in creative mode, if you're on a server or something and you want to um, craft your own, you can do that. All you're going to do for a uh, turtle is seven lime wool, a block of redstone, and a chest. And I didn't give myself a crafting bench. I better make one of those really quick. 
Oh, wood can't get there. Okay. All right, so we'll get the crafting bench open and we'll put the chest on the bottom, redstone in the middle, and surround it with lime wool, and that creates your beginner turtle. All right, now to interact with a turtle, you notice I clicked on it. It says you, you need a turtle remote control, so I can't do anything with the turtle unless I have a remote control. So come in here, you're going to get four iron, a redstone torch, a lever, and a button. So all relatively easy material to grab. You're going to make the iron in a little T. You're going to put the, uh, let's see if I can remember it. <laughs> I might have to use any eye here. I get these all switched around. Okay, so let's look up remote control. I've got NEI installed so I can see the recipes easier. There we go, add it really close. There we go, so torch on the top, lever on the left, button on the bottom right, and we get the remote control. Now if you have the remote control as the currently selected item, just go ahead and right click on that and you're gonna see it's gonna move over to a new inventory slot that you really can't access, all right? If you ever wanna get rid of your remote control or, or throw it to a friend or something, if you go into the options, controls, you'll see that there's two buttons here, one to access the turtle remote and one to drop the turtle remote. So I'm gonna rebind these to J and K. There's currently a bug where it does not save your key configs. Um, so I've got that. And so if I wanna access remote, I hit J. It's like, eh, have you seen any turtles around? Well, I better point at a turtle. There we go, nope, <laughs> nothing to do. Okay, and then I can throw it on ground with K and then it's gone out of my inventory. All right, so we got to picked up a turtle remote control. Now that I have it over there in that mysterious inventory slot, I can interact with the turtles, okay? In the next tutorial, we are going to cover how to do the remote control operations of the turtle and start with a little bit of basic visual programming of the turtle to make it move and do some operations. Right now, I want to cover the cool feature, which is the customize option. <laughs> this is really cool. You've got some, na um, some options here. You can give them a name, all right? So... Uh, this is a turtle. Let's name him Leo. And uh, we've got some different colors here. So we can color them all different colors. I think I like the base green. And you can give him decorations. So if you don't like those eyes, just hit left and... Oh, look, he's got 3D glasses on. Oh, wait, that one looks pretty cool. <laughs> we've got a ninja turtle. Isn't that cool? Someone was clever and, and said, Hey, Dan, you've got turtles in your game. Why not make them green with bandanas of different colors? So there's Leo. Let's come over here and we'll name this one Raph. And uh, give him a red. Uh, this guy can be Mike. We'll make him orange. Uh, that's not really orange, but that's okay. <laughs> and the last one, Donnie. And we'll make him purple. There we go. So we got our four turtles there. I love the options that he's got now to decorate the turtles. And uh, let's just put one more down and can we, we can kind of scroll through the options here. We've got uh, the creeper face turtle. That's cool. We've got king turtle. Uh, we've got the Santa turtle. Uh, the dying of fire turtle. It might look better with like something like a red, maybe a black. Is there a good color for this fire? Yeah, that kind of looks pretty good. We got a little blaze turtle. Um, you got the unhappy face, the really unhappy face, or is that a mustache? I'm not sure. Uh, the happy face turtle. <laughs> the scuba turtle, I really like that one. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> if you're going to make a program, a turtle that's going down in the water, that's a great decoration. Um, you've got the straw man turtle, I guess he's got a little hat, might be good for a farmer. Um, and the shades turtle. Uh, the Zon uh, no, Dracula turtle there, and uh, the turtle in a suit, and the decorate in the non-turtle. So that's the cool um, decorate options. If you hit this remote, you get back to the uh, functions here. Again, we'll cover that in the next tutorial. You've got an inventory here. This on the left is your player inventory. Over on the right is the turtle inventory. It only holds 16 slots, and they're numbered. This will come in greatly uh, useful when we actually start programming them. And we've got the programming. Look how complicated this is. There's a little sneak peek for you. Okay, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Computercraft EDU tutorials. Follow me on Twitter at FunshineX. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. It's been FunshineX. Catch you later. Bye.